Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Sanjit Dudej. I'm working as technical architect at Adobe and here I present weekly contest 306. The problem that I have chosen is largest vocal values in a matrix. Here in this question, we are given a matrix of size M, N cross N and we need to identify the largest values that exist across the matrix of size 3 cross 3 in this entire grid. So here they have provided us with an example. I'll be walking you through the example as well as the algorithm to go about it. Why the presentation? So let's quickly hop on to it. Largest local values in a matrix, lead code 2373. It's an easy level question on lead code and I totally feel the same. And in case if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything from me with respect to job opportunities, reference, Adobe, anything, please feel free to drop a message on the Telegram group of Coding Decoded. The link is mentioned in the description below. So do check this out. Now let's go and understand the question by the same example that was specified. So in the first, what do we need to do? We need to create a grid of size 3 cross 3 and where that grid would be, it would be this one. We need to identify the maximum element that occurs across this grid. So what is that value? 9 is that value. So let's write 9 over here. So let's proceed ahead. We we'll keep on doing this till the time we have more such possibilities of 3 cross 3 grid. The next possibility of grid is this one. So again, what we need to do, we need to identify the maximum value that exists across this particular grid. What is the maximum value that exists over here? It's 9 again. And if you carefully observe, we have iterated over all possibilities of columns. Now we will move in row wise direction. So let me just change the color of pen for better understanding. Let's get started. The next possibility of grid would be this one. We have moved ahead to the next row. So among the elements that are specified in this particular grid, which one is the maximum one? 8 is the maximum one. So let's write 8 over here and let's proceed ahead. The next one would be this grid. So let's identify the maximum one over here and the maximum one would be 6. So the, the final answer would be something on these lines. We'll have four elements in it. The first element is 9, next is 9, 8 and 6. This is in sync with the expectation as per the question and we'll exactly follow the same steps as I have just talked here. So let's quickly move on to the coding section and include the question. The first thing that I have done here is to create a 2D array that will actually store the answer. And in the question it is specified that the number of rows and number of columns are equal. Therefore the size of the answer array would be equal to grid dot length minus 2 in terms of columns as well as rows. Now let's proceed ahead. What do we need to do? We need to identify the maximum value that exists in the grids of size 3 cross 3. So this is what I have done over here as well. So if we start the iteration first in row wise and then column wise and we identify the maximum value that exists across 3 cross 3 grid and we pass in the grid and we pass in the starting uh, row index and the starting column index and whatever answer we get we set it at answer of i comma j and in the end we simply return the answer variable so the question boils down to writing this helper method appropriately and this should be private it's a bad practice to make it public moving ahead i have created a max variable initialize it to zero and then i started iterating over a grid of size 3 cross 3 i start from i equals to rho i is less than equal to rho plus 3 i plus plus similarly for the column and i have used j index for the traversal i identify the maximum element and simply return it back so it's pretty simple it's like identifying the maximum element that occurs in a grid of size 3 cross 3 and once we have done that what do we do we simply submit this up and it got accepted the time complexity of this approach would be equal th this will take constant time because every time it will at max look out for nine elements so the time complexity of this approach would be equal to nine order of n square because here we are using a loop and uh, the traversal is happening from i equals to zero up till i is less than n so the ns dot length is basically uh, order of n and the total time complexity would be order of n square so with this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. And guys, please do subscribe to the channel. Your subscription means a lot to me. Thank you.